Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, I will explain how to create a change password inside your you have login inside. So, just first of all, we need to create a one main change password. Change password inside you need to add like two columns: password and confirm password. After you need to click on the update password. So, first we need to check inside database. This is the old password is a confirm, not confirm, or uh, we can check is like password and confirm password is a match. So we can update, otherwise we don't need to update, we can say some error. So let's go and do create a change password manually. Okay, so let's go minus two modes, go to resources, inside views, layouts, inside uh, headers. Let's create a new menu, change password, so go down, assign subjects, after I can copy to change password. So change password we need to do all place so I can create every place like a student teachers and uh, parents so we can create a one common function like the admin change password also we can make uh, this is the okay, let's make it what we want to do about change passwords And we can do also inside a teacher sides and school sides, means student side and parents side. Change password. Let's copy everything and put inside every place. Like here also put change password, and here also put change password, and here also put change password. This is the like uh, student, so we just change to student. And this is the like uh, teacher, so just change to here teachers. And last one is the parents. So as parents, we can change to parent. Okay. Now let's do admin side after we can maintain to every place. Okay, so go to admin, change password. Uh, go to inside roots, inside web, we can create a one root for change password. So just copy and this is the two lines and change to change password. Here, here you can do also change password, change password. And we can create a new controller like user control. User controller inside you can maintain like a use profile, also you can maintain like a change password whatever you can do inside user control user related so just copy and put here and change to here teachers 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 also you can put second middleware like a student middleware student student students and parents i also do so parents parents okay let's create a user controller so first of all you need to open your terminal I will open my projects. Uh, let's go to my projects. Uh, docs inside school.com. Inside, I will open my terminals. And I can type command like PHP artisan make user controller. So just press the enter. So, taking few seconds. Okay, controller is created. Okay, let's go to app inside HTTP inside controller so you can see user controller. Let's declare this user controller above. So you can declare here controller, user controller. Okay, now we need to create a function change password. Function change password. So we can return redirect profile dot change password. So let's go to inside views. Views inside I will create a new menu like a profile. I can't do in inside anything, so just create a new menu like a profile. So new folder profile. Sorry, profile. I made a wrong. 
profiles profiles data will create new file change password dot blade dot php and also i will make here like a data add the titles to change password and data we can pass inside return views not redirect i made a from return views sorry about that okay now i can here we can write a code about the form html form change password so let's get let's refresh the file so you can see it here new menu change password i click on the change password to show in the blank field because we have not created any html so let's add a here html so go to any place where, where i go let's go to admin side admin side we can go to class and copy this admin class form so put here to change to so let's refresh the page so i can show you so you can see here change password we can make here change password password and confirm password after click on the update and here is a segment active because we are make a second segment change password so here we can do change passwords password and get copy to confirm password Status. You don't need status, and also you can add here update button. So here we need to like a uh, new password. I think yes, new password. And here here we can not password password. Here I think not understand. So we can type like old password, old password. And here we can do the confirm password. Okay. So we can check like old password is match and new password we can update directly. New password. Okay, so new password and old password. So here put and uh, old passwords. What are they? So let's try and refresh page. So you can see it like old password and new password. So whatever you can password add new, we can update. But first we can verify like a old password. Old password is there. We can make also here like a confirm password. But why we need to check second time? Just we can do the one only one time, so it's good. Okay, so let's create a function about the action. So we can change to here like update change password function because we already create a post method. So let's change every place update change password because we are using common function. So let's create here function updates. So here we can make a request. Is a request. Is a request. Go to insert. Just change to text to password. And here also make the required field. It is already there required field, so no issue. Okay. So here we can make the like a DD. So we can check uh, what I received inside password. Uh, refresh now. So you can see it. Name new password. So let's change to name to name to password. Old password. Uh, let's go back and we have changed to name old password. Okay, I have changed the name. So now we need to write here coding about the password. So first of all, we need to get the data our user data. So users users is equal to get single. Insert auth users ID. Why I did get single because we have already created one function get single. So I can show you inside users so you can see it here like the users inside. Okay, so let's declare this is the model here use app models inside user. Also, you can declare like use auth. Because we need a auth, and also we need a hash because we need to make a new password. Like a hash. 
okay now we can check first like old password and uh, new password I mean, data with inside password is a matching cannot be matching if hash hash check dollar request old password old password comma dollar user inside password is a matching so it's going inside other else part going and folding old password does not match so just we'll write return redirect get me as old password is not correct like this you can write old password is not correct and let's copy and paste here and we here can write success messages password successfully updated you can like here password successfully updated Okay, let's here make a new password so dollar user password is equal to hash make this a dollar request new password and here we can save so this is the new password you have set inside database and uh, everything's good let's test now so first of all we need to clear this declare the message but we already created one single file so let's copy and replace okay i copy and i can put dot and here messages so let's test now working or working okay i just refresh the page One two three four five six seven eight nine and ten one two three. So you can type one two three four five six here. I click on the update. Oh, is the browser showing old password is not correct because we have what had a wrong password old password. Mm, let's make a proper design. Because design was looks not too messy. So let's inside I will have. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the correct password I made. You know, we have new password one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can click on the update functions. See, so the password successfully updated. Okay, now I will add here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I click on the update. So here told me old password is not correct. You can see it's so the password updating working very good because I only set one two three four five six. Let's log out and log in. Before my password there one two three four five six seven eight nine. So I add me because this is the demo here also there one two three four five six. I said remember me and I click on the sign in. So it's working very well. Change password. Okay, let's log in as a student account. Check is a uh, password is change password button there. It is not there. So I log out and I log in as a student. Student at the password one two three four five six. I log in now. No password. I don't know what is the password about student. Let's try one two three four five six nine three four five six seven eight nine. Okay, it's a one two three four five seven eight nine password. I click on the change password. You can see it's working. Let's make a like old password one two three four five six seven eight nine and the new password we can make one two three four five six. And click on the update. You can see it, password successfully updated. So in this video, I have explained how to make a update password. In your profile, so every customer means that every project need a like old password you can update. So first you need to add an old password, after you need to add a new password. So 
i hope do you want to like this video so please like this video and also if you want to see like this video so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching